Good morning and today we're going to look at teaching your dog how to rest their chin, sometimes also called chin rest or head down. My name is Adele and this is my dog Misty and we are Animal Tactics. Okay, let's get started. So today I'm going to show you how to get your dog to put their chin down or rest their chin on cue. To start off with, I would use something that is at the same height as your dog's front shoulders. This makes it simple for them to start to get used to the idea of popping their chin down onto an object, as you can see Misty doing here. So step one is first of all to desensitize your dog to the, to, to the object. Today I'm just using a footstool, but you could use a small table. If you've got a small dog, maybe a little step stool or a step of some kind or even a brick. And I will also be showing you shortly with a pillow. Okay, so to get your dog to do this, what we are wanting to do is for her first of all, get them familiar with this piece of equipment so that it is not big and scary. So desensitize them to the footstool or the, the piece of equipment that you're using. Okay, so once you have done that, what you are now wanting to do is to lure your dog. I've got a treat in my hand and get them to pop their chin down onto that piece of equipment. What I will do is try to encourage, uh-uh, down, down, hop down, down. What I will do is just try to hold this piece of kibble in my hands. The moment she rests her chin, chin down, we want a nice elevated chin, nice and strong, bringing that. So I'm just drawing that hand out, yes. So now she's got her chin down, I will click and reward. Sometimes you can also just use a little bit of pressure on their head. Not a lot, I'm not forcing Misty here. I'm just popping my head nice and my hand nice and lightly on her head just to give her the idea that I'm wanting her chin down. Yes, so it's not heavy, it's not with any force, it's just like you would be patting your dog. Chin down. So then she'll start doing it on command. So first of all, lure, get them to put their chin down. So I've got that treat, so she's now got the idea, yes. So I've got that treat just here in my hand, popping it on the stool, chin down. And I've started adding the verbal cue already at this level, chin down, yes. Remembering if you need to, just, to, just pop your hand on top of your dog, nice and gentle, just chin down, good girl, and reward. So she's already got this here, so step one, chin down, oh. She thinks she missed a treat there, Misty. Here we go. Come. Chin down. Yes, good girl. Now you can also teach your dog to do this in your palm of your hand. So chin on. Yes, good girl. Chin. So you might find that your dog is more comfortable with this to begin with. So there are several ways of teaching this trick. Chin on. Again, a treat in my hand. So I'm just luring her at the moment. Okay, she's gone into a drop position. So chin on, you can have that other tree in this hand here and lure and reward. Yes, chin, chin on. Yes, good girl. So nice and tight and loose. I'm not squeezing Misty here. I'm not forcing her in any way. The treat is enough for her to be motivated. Chin on. Yes, good girl. Fantastic, so that is step one. So either on a piece of equipment or in your hand. We're now going to progress down and I'm going to bring in a pillow. All right, so popping that down on the floor in front of me, I'm going to use the exact same concept here as I used previously and get her to put her chin down onto this pillow. Again, luring with a treat if you need. Chin, chin down, and a slight hand on the top. Chin down, good girl, chin down. Yes, and as you can see here, she's now understanding, chin down. So this would be step two, chin down. And especially for those larger dogs, remembering that they're obviously a lot taller, so to get down on the floor and pop their chin down, um, they will naturally do that when they're 
laying, having a rest or a sleep, you can actually catch that action and start rewarding for that and adding a verbal cue. Over time, your dog will understand that. However, if you're wanting to train it specifically, then this is the method that I used with Misty. Um, so chin down, good girl. Chin down, good. Chin down. Um, I'm not gonna reward her. As you can see, she's offering me everything else. Chin down. No, not head under pillow. Chin. Yes, good girl. So sometimes it's just to up the ante a little bit. I just let her think about what she's doing. And then I'm just going to reward her when she offers me the exact right behavior. Now, what I'm wanting to do is now she's giving me that. She's offering that. She's understanding what her expectations are. I'm going to now always add the verbal cue before I reward. So I'm just going to pull her away for a second. Chin down. Yes. Chin down. Yes. Chin down. Yes. Good girl. Chin down. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, that last one there, I didn't use the verbal cue, so my mistake, but I will still reward her. Chin down. Yes. Good girl. Okay, so that's step two. Now we're going to fade out the pillow. Okay, so let's try this without our pillow now. So what we are wanting to do is get her to put her chin down flat on the floor. So again, with a treat, you're going to lure chin down. Yes, good girl. And just a slight hand on that there. Chin down. Chin down. Right down. Chin down. Good girl. So it takes a little bit for them to get used to. Chin down. Good. Yes. Good girl. Chin down. Yes. So now she's got that. She's got that understanding. Chin down. Good girl. Chin down. Yes. So always adding that verbal cue. Chin down. So when I do chin down, I just do use two fingers as my indicator on the floor. So it's chin down chin down and chin down. Now remembering with your verbal cue you can use other words or other indicators. Um, just make sure that it is specific to the trick that you are trying to teach so as to not confuse your dog's mind. So that is how we teach chin down. A nice simple one today. Um, not too difficult and a fun one to do especially if it's raining outdoors or really cold. Drop and chin down. Chin down. Yes, good girl. Chin down. This is also a good way to use your hand. You could like touch with your hand or get to target mark your hand. So there are quite a, a few different ways to teach that. So there we go. That is chin down today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye for now. Chin down. Good girl. Chin down. Good girl. Chin down. Good girl. Nice flat chin there. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly releases. If you would like to see more videos of this level, check out our playlists. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in our description below.